All right, so let's look at these examples. We have example one, a solid ball has a mass of 50 grams and a density of 2.5 cubic centimeters. What is the volume? And so we know that density is equal to mass over volume. And then we can multiply both sides by volume. And then we get density times volume equals mass. We can divide both sides by the density. And so volume equals mass over density. So the volume is 50 grams divided by 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. And that gives you your answer of 20 cubic centimeters. All right, example two, we have the same relationship, density, which is the Greek letter rho, which I'm not particularly good at drawing, but I just make sure they don't look like a P. Okay, so there's a P and there's a rho. I just make it a leaning over P. All right, so we multiply both sides by volume. And here, let's get rid of that P. P is for pressure or lowercase p for momentum. In any case, mass equals volume times density. So mass equals um, well, 3.1 grams per cubic centimeter. That's the density. Volume of a cylinder, well, we find the area of the base, which is pi times 2 centimeters squared. So pi r squared. And then we multiply by the height. And that comes out to 273 grams. All right. So just simple relationship, density equals mass over volume. And we can solve for any of the uh, three things that are in there if we know the other two. Now let's look at example three here. An object floats in ethyl alcohol, but sinks when placed in another fluid. So we look in table 11.1 and we see the density of ethyl alcohol is 0 0.79 grams per cubic centimeter. So if it floats in ethyl alcohol, that means the density of the object is less than 0 0.79 grams per cubic centimeter. So it also means the density of our object is greater than the density of our other fluid. Okay, because it sinks in the other fluid. So it says name two other possibilities. And you look at that table 11.1 .1, and there's one obvious choice there. Okay, right below ethyl alcohol has a density of 0 0.68. So that's less than ethyl alcohol's density. And then you're like, wait a minute, there's not any more fluids. But that's not true. There's not any more liquids on that table that have a density less than ethyl alcohol. But there are plenty of gases and gases are fluids. Don't forget that. 